Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. It united its enemies in a strong and formidable coalition, the Western powers, and divided the Chinese forces, the boxers' leaders against the imperial army generals against the empress and all against each others, producing a fragmented and higgly vulnerable force. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. The Chinese had little interest for trading with the West because the West had nothing they wanted. They did not want foreign things to become part of their day-to-day -day life, so they isolated themselves. In fact, China had goods the West wanted, but the West didn't have goods China wanted, so things didn't work out. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Boxer Rebellion, officially supported peasant uprising of 1900 that attempted to drive all foreigners from China. Boxers, was a name that foreigners gave to a Chinese secret society known as the Yiaquan, Righteous and Harmonious Fists. Make your mark, take our lead. How did the Boxer Rebellion end? Ended with the signing of the Boxer Protocol which states that the barriers that protect Beijing will be destroyed, Boxer and Chinese government officials were dismissed, and foreign legations had the right to assign troops in Beijing for defense. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. The Boxer Rebellion was an uprising against foreigners that occurred in China about 1900, begun by peasants but eventually supported by the government. A Chinese secret society known as the Boxers embarked on a violent campaign to drive all foreigners from China. Several countries sent troops to halt the attacks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.